I think my purpose in life is to be a catalyst for others to grow and to remove what's in the way of them growing and moving forward with their passion and what they believe in. Um, and if I can provide that for people, that's what makes me happy. What I wish everyone knew about EFT is that it's so simple to learn. It's, it's not as simple to master, but it's simple to learn the basics. And so it gives you at your fingertips empowerment to deal with anything that comes up in your life that causes negative feelings or emotions or makes you feel stuck. So it's a powerful tool to enable you to move forward without having to say, I need help from someone else. When a client comes in and they're feeling down, they're looking down, their energy looks tired, um, they feel stuck, they can't see a way out of their situation, they don't believe that anything can change so quickly and at the end of the session they're completely changed. They, it looks like a weight has lifted from their life and they suddenly see a way forward. But they don't just see it, they feel it energetically that, that has lifted and shifted and that's what I love to see. People come to me to solve so many different problems. I'll work with people with relationship issues, just with, you know, I'm not getting on well with my husband right now, or I seem to attract all the same sorts of boyfriends, you know, and I feel like a victim, or um, they always leave me. And you get to their core belief, and, and their core underlying belief might be, I'm not lovable, or I, um, I'm not good enough, or I'm not worthy, or I don't deserve. Once you shift that belief, everything in their life shifts and beliefs that they once held that affected their, their money, their success, their relationships all disappear. And then once that's disappeared, it's, it changes everything. And they can't believe the shifts. I work with anything from um, you know biting your nails through to uh, relationship issues, through to really big traumas, post-traumatic stress disorder, phobias like for spiders, snakes, um, Weight loss and money issues, those are two big ones. When people come to see me for them, it's great. People come to me for mostly pain when it's to do with physical issues, um, but I do have some chronic uh, pain and MS, chronic fatigue. People with physical issues can clear quite surprisingly quickly, depending on how long they've had it there for um, or how much emotional contributors there are to it. The most extraordinary things I've seen, one of my clients with MS who couldn't walk um, and now is walking around the block with just one cane, no calipers anymore. I, I see her face smiling and I see the freedom she has now and how her life has changed completely. I work with men and women. Are there any other types? No, there's little boys, little girls, all the way up to um, 85, I think is about the oldest I've worked with. Um, so any sort of client and little kids love being tapped on um, it's very relaxing they clear really quickly i think the eldest um, man that i worked with he was still having issues with his dad his mum. you know it's like they're both deceased but he's still got the ongoing um, trouble and patterns and also um, an issue with his wife so that had been like 10 years ago a big incident um, so it's a ma it doesn't matter how old you are you've still got these things occurring and hitting you and affecting your life and you can clear them I was introduced to EFT through one of the students that I was studying um, my diploma of hypnotherapy with and when I saw EFT and how it was engaging the subconscious as well as dealing with the energy system of the body um, I realized that what I could do was combine both my hypnotherapy with EFT and so I've brought the principles of NLP and EFT and hypnotherapy all together as well as perhaps my spiritual beliefs um, and I've created also something called quantum EFT for the soul so they're sort of two separate areas but sometimes um, even in in clinical EFT I find that sometimes spontaneously people will go to other lives or um, past lives you might call them and you need to know how to deal with that even in clinical EFT. There was a time in my life when uh, not long after my mother died which was very sudden there was also my marriage breakup. I started researching and looking into um, near-death experiences. Um, I, you know, saw clairvoyance. I went to do a spiritual development group, and um, 
as I was doing all of that, I had my own past life regressions and I started practicing past life regressions on my friends and family and to this day they still say that it's, they remember them and that it affected their life and it, they've been profoundly changed by that. The most fulfilling things I've seen with quantum EFT is that um, people have uh, stuff that comes up after we do a, a past life regression in a workshop or, or personally um, stuff comes up that they never knew was there and they they're, they're really amazed and surprised at the emotional connection with it as well it, it really is a memory so they come out of a quantum EFT and mining their cash, cash workshop with a greater understanding of who they are who they've been why why they're here and what their purpose is for this time around People don't have to experience a past life to get the benefit from EFT or quantum EFT. When I'm talking about quantum EFT, it's about using EFT in time, space or place. So you might be going back in your imagination to being back in the womb, or you might be going back to a four-year-old. We can also do generational things. Um, so you can you can do so much stuff with with the with quantum EFT tapping in time space and place as well as going to other lifetimes and you don't always have to experience a past life regression to go there um, some people spontaneously will come up with a past life regression when we're tapping into a feeling in the energy and the body and an emotion and I say um, talking about going to its origin wherever that origin may be in this time or another lifetime and suddenly they're getting this picture of, of something else I've got several videos on um, quantum EFT where that's occurred just spontaneously and and they see it they feel it and it's definitely not in this lifetime um, and whether that's coming from their imagination or it is a true past life it doesn't matter because the energy is there in their body and they're feeling the emotion of it and that needs to be dissolved because if that energy and that charge and that emotion is there it's still affecting them now in this life. Um, I had an experience with one of my clients in the workshop and she's done a video of it actually a testimonial and um, she always wondered why she really loved um, native women and she had a past life where she was a, a, a native woman and she was always very happy and smiley but she had this sadness underneath and we cleared all that sadness and she said that's exactly how I am everyone thinks I'm bubbly and happy all the time but I had this deep sadness underneath and and it really connected her with that past life um, and so it helped to clear it in this life that's why I love to say let's just start tap and see where this goes and you don't know where it's going to go you can tap about um, issues in this present life but sometimes under the radar and the subconscious there's things at a soul level that are still affecting you from other lives that you may not know about. Quantum EFT is a wonderful way of dissolving that so that you're free at a soul level to live this life. Once you've learned EFT you can share it with others and people often do when they've had great results from EFT they will want to give it away to others. That's what I love about it. It's about paying it forward. Worldwide I see EFT becoming mainstream. So just like a few years ago before acupuncture became mainstream, um, that's where we are now. We're really at a tipping point. A lot of psychologists, a lot of professional people are using EFT already and it's just a matter of the government to give it the tick of approval. All the research is already there, you know, gradually we're getting there, but it'll be there in mainstream and, and I'm glad to be one of the forerunners to be training people, particularly in Australia, to be certified EFT practitioners. Passionate, I feel passionate about EFT. That's, it, it feels like it's my life purpose.